recording in a bit of a different setting today because this video is about skincare um i'm not a, i'm not even gonna lie i'm not a person who has like a particular regimen i don't do anything every day like i'm not that girl like i don't have nothing where i'm like i need to do this every day yada 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 no like i'll wash my face but like i don't do nothing crazy every day but when i do something um there are some products that i love to use that work for me i have like pretty clear skin so i don't really have that many issues where i'm like oh i need to fix this or i need this and that to do this and that so i just want to show you guys what i use when i am um doing my face or doing things to my face so keep watching to find out those things okay so i'm going to show you what i use on my face when i do do like a lot of things okay so first i like the it works cleanser if it'll focus okay it's not focusing but it just says oh there it goes it just says cleanser it's just a regular cleanser um it has a lot of like natural products in it and i like it because it makes my skin feel refreshed so before you like apply anything to your face you want to make sure that you washed your face and also that you washed your hands because if your face is dirty and you're putting like other things on top of it doesn't really make sense and then also if your hands are dirty and then you're rubbing your fingers all on your face that doesn't make sense either um but yeah like i said before my skin is pretty clear like um i'm gonna try to let me move this up so i could try to get a little bit close so i could show y'all but i have pretty clear skin like i don't i get like the once in a while breakout but like my face looks red because i just washed my face but like i don't really get breakouts my skin is like pretty clear so so the things that i do are very very minimal like even if i was to have like an everyday regimen i don't want something that's like seven products i gotta use them every day like i'm not that girl like i'm really not but um yeah first is the cleanser so I guess I can show you guys what I do. I mean, I just wash my face, but let me show you. So I wet my fingers first, and I usually, I literally use like a dab, like literally that much, because I've had this since like early 2018 or like 2017 summer that's how long this lasts and it doesn't expire or anything like that so well actually it expires may 2019 so this month and um i'll probably be throwing it away but i've had it for that long and i still have a whole lot in here so you literally only need a dab and then i just rub it but yeah, I like this product simply because it's simple, like it's easy. I can actually read the things that are on the back of the label. Like I don't have to be trying to figure out what's I mean or trying to figure out what I'm putting on my face. And I like the fact that it goes a little goes a long way and it lasts me a very long time. Like I said, I've had it since I think like summer to end of summer 2017 and it's just now about to expire so yeah i can probably even use it till the end of this month because it says may 2019 so i can continue to use it till the end of this month there's nothing wrong with it like that, so. but yeah i really do So like I literally do nothing insane. So 
so then I'm going to uh, like I literally don't do much and also another thing I don't know if this really helps or not but I use a different towel and face rag for my face and body and this is how my skin looks after uh i just used it very refreshed it's very soft um yeah very simple so after i do that and then i like pat my face with the towel i use this rose water hydrating face mist and i just with spray i don't know if i really want to spray this because i do plan to do a mask should we do it i think i will but uh basically it's a refreshing aroma aromatic mist to spritz anytime purely formulated with a fusion of fragrant herbal and botanical extracts this skin quencher is the perfect pick me up for dehydrated skin so you can spray this in the morning when you're about to leave or you could spray it after you use a cleanser like it kind of just gives your skin like a brighter fresher type of feeling it's a hydrating mist so it hydrates um so yeah it can be used after cleansing or before you use like a moisturizer. I don't think that I actually think I'm going to spray this on my face after I do my mask. But I'm still going to just show y'all um, that this is what it's called. I actually got this from Marshalls and it was $7.99. Um, it doesn't have a huge like fragrant smell. But it smells fresh it smells like rose water um you can also make your own rose water i know a lot of people do that too um i've seen people do it with just like water and then they put like roses inside of it and some people even put like essential oils um but yeah that's what i use um i don't use it every time like i said like this is not something i do all the time like the cleanser i might even just use it twice a month like me washing my face is literally like washing my face like with my face rag i'm sorry i'm just not that girl but uh also as far as i like oils too i don't like anything like too oily because it it'll i'll feel it so i think that classifies me to have oily skin i that's how much i don't know <laughs> so i think that i have oily skin because if i use a product that's a bit too like greasy or if i put too, like too much lotion or something on my face like my pores will be clogged and my face will get very hot and very oily um so i think that i have oily skin or i think i have combination like sometimes my face feels dry like not even after i just wash my face but sometimes it'll just feel dry like randomly and so i think i have like combination but like i said i have very very clear skin for the most part and I only have breakouts like every once in a while so I haven't even explored the whole skincare arena because I never really needed to but there are products that I like to use which is you know like the point of this entire video but one of the oils that I started to use I think like a month ago is the retinol is the overnight overnight serum if this will focus there we go it's the retinol overnight serum and it was $5.99 from TJ Maxx um I'm also not a girl who spend a lot of money on products like this hair products yeah sure every now and then but facial products I'm not that girl that's gonna go spend $80 on a face mask unless like it's something i really like and it's gonna last me for a long time that's the only time i'll do that otherwise it's not gonna happen but i'll use this and then it's like this little <laughs> squeeze applicators and i don't know if i'm weird but i find these so cool and then you just i just usually drop like a few drops like two drops on my face and then just rub it in and leave it 
and it's an overnight serum so you don't have to um to take it off or you know like wash your face or anything after eating even if sometimes i might do it in the day like i like it so i use it when i want um and it's a glass bottle well it's like yeah it's a glass bottle and then the applicator is glass too so yeah and it says repair this retinol oil serum aids to repair skin and reducing the appearance of fine lines and it gives like a awake and renewed look that's really what i like about face products is i'm looking for something that's going to refresh my skin hydrate it and make me look like alert and like um renewed and refreshed because i don't get the proper amount of sleep so if i can look renewed and refreshed like i did that's great for me but like i would spray this usually and then i would fan myself to make it dry because when you spray it, it's going to be wet of course and then i would use this after and that's like it well you've already seen it but that's like if i was not doing a mask i would use this after and that would just be it so it would be like these three products first first second third but also another moisturizer that i use is this it's the shea moisture daily defense uh, moisturizer and it's raw shea and q pure q um i'm not sure exactly what that one is but like i said before i don't usually like to um use things that i don't know what they are but it is like a natural i'm pretty i think it's like a natural herb but don't quote me um and it's with passiflora and pistachio oils and it says environmentally it's for environmentally stressed skin um my skin is not environmentally stressed but i liked it when i saw it so i bought it and it smells really good too i literally use like a dab like two dabs probably like right here in my t-zone and then i'll rub it in and then that's it but like i said before i don't like to put too much of anything on my face especially like a moisturizer because like my skin will eventually start to get hot and you will it will start to like seep through and i hate that because it makes me feel really hot like i use lotion on my face sometimes too i know that you're, you're not supposed to because it does clog your pores and when i put too much I noticed throughout the day that my pores are clogged and my skin starts to get oily and starts to get hot and then you can see it and I hate that um but another thing that I use for my skin is these hair skin and nail supplements from it works as well if it will focus I guess not but it just says hair skin and nails on the front but um I take two a day I don't take them every day I used to take them every day I don't anymore I fell off um but this is what they look like I could take them out you take two a day and they really do work it's not focusing but they really do work and i can attest to that because i've been using it works products especially the hair skin and nail and the cleanser for over for probably two years and they really do work they grow your hair tremendously and they also help your skin and they grow your nails and i'm not just saying that i'm not even an ambassador for them anymore i used to be and i enjoyed the experience and i definitely enjoyed the products which is why i'm still you know using them to this day and i also have something else i also have like a whole nother box of the hair skin and nail pills in there um this too it's a lip and eye cream. It's not focusing. Okay, y'all could kind of read what it said. But um, it's like a moisturizing cream gel for like, you could put it right here, just blot it right there. And yeah, it kind of gives you like that alert and awakened look. Um, but 
the main two products that I use from it works are these two. Um, the hair, skin, and nail peels, which are these. And then the cleanser, you take these two a day. And you can use this daily in the morning and at night. It's all your preference. I do not. Um, I don't even use it every day, let alone day and night. Um, but yeah. And then I love face masks. So if I don't do anything else, like all these steps and all that, I love a face mask so i'll probably do a couple face masks out of the month um sometimes i don't because i just don't get around to having the free time to do it but i love face masks um a lot of my face masks i might get from like uh tj maxx or marshall's like i did these because you could get a bunch of them for like six dollars or like i've had um like a sample one from lush that i really liked it was like the rose something um and also i got like a sample of the 24 carrot gold um face mask from sephora and i really like that one too but i never went back to buy the full size one because it's like a hundred plus depending on what size you get and like i said i'm not that girl like i don't like it that much to be spending you know like a hundred dollars on one product and then like the sizes are not even that big but i also like sheet mask but i don't mind other ones as well so I'm going to put on a mask um, and I'll just show you guys before I end the video I'll show you guys how I put them on I mean it's a sheet mask it's just you know regular so when you take it out the bot out the bag like it's gonna be wet because it has all of like the um things that they put on the mask to help your skin it's been sitting in that so that it soaks it up that's like you know the point of the sheet mask instead of having like the actual um liquid but you just take it apart i always find that with these sheet masks they are not made for black girls okay and i'm gonna tell you why because no sheet mask that i have ever had fits over my lips <laughs> and i know my lips are a little bit big but like come on now And the, it's not sticky, but it's very, like, slimy. I know a lot of people don't like the feeling of, like, sheet masks on their face because it's slimy. At first, I didn't either because I used to use, like, the mask that I put on myself instead of sheet masks. So, when I first got a sheet mask, I was not um, feeling it. And it's cold. But once I get it on, I just pat it down on my skin. And you see how, like I said, it does not fit on my lips. Like, it's sitting on my top lip. So I just always have to, like, try to adjust it. And then when you, as you keep it on, it'll dry because your skin will absorb, like, the things that are on the mask. Um, now you see, like, my hands are pretty slimy because of the stuff that was on there. So. But, yes, I have the face mask on. I'm going to end the video soon because it would be weird for me to sit and talk while I have this on. Um, I may or may not insert a clip of actually yeah i will so i'm gonna keep this on for about i don't even know what time it is i don't have my phone but i'm gonna keep this on for about 10 minutes and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys like my skin after and i'm gonna wash my face off spray the rose water and then put the overnight serum on and that'll be it but i'll be back in like 10 minutes okay so i'm back um I kept it on for a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but it dried a little bit. I could have waited till it completely dried, but I'm not. I'm just going to take it off. My face literally feels super refreshed just from taking it off. 
but this is how my face looks with this stuff still on there um yeah it's like slimy kind of because of you know it had you know all of the ingredients on the sheet mask i can actually tell you what was in it um malt ash extract basically it's a gold spa treatment mask and it offers intense hydration to revitalize smooth and smooth and soften skin soothing 15 minute facial therapy helps with reducing fine lines and wrinkles for all skin types so yeah um and i'm going to wash it off now and sometimes i just go in my like circular motion so that Whatever ingredients were on the mask, it just kind of get massaged more into my skin. And then I'm just going to wash my face off with my face rag. And I'm going to pat my face. And I use white face rags and towels and all that stuff. I didn't use two, but I do. And I have been for like the past, like probably like three years. I mean, sometimes I'll still use, um, like, different color, like, towels, but, like, I like to use, like, white face rags and, like, the rags that I use for, like, my body and stuff. Like I said, I use two different face rags, one for my face, one, excuse me, one for my body. And then I'm just going to spray the rose water on. I look, he hate, like, spraying so on my face. And I just do like three little, I mean, I don't usually count, but right now at this moment, I just did three. And then I just fan it because it's water, so. And then also, this is a glass bottle as well. I like when things have glass bottles. So, yeah. Feels very refreshing. I actually haven't did a face mask in a long time, and I am glad I did one. Okay, so now it's seeped in a little bit more. This is what my skin looks like. Very um very like refreshed let me actually pick up the camera very like refreshed so yeah my skin feels very refreshed so yeah then we're going to put the retinol overnight serum on Just going to And I promise you, the last time I used this, the morning I woke up, my face was so, like, glowy. Like, 
more than normal. And I did put a bit much this time by mistake. So at first I was gonna like kind of like pat some off, but I'm just gonna keep like rubbing it in. This actually feels great. Let me get a little close so y'all can see. I'm gonna just rub it everywhere. Okay. So, now I can actually see myself because I have my glasses on. But this was my skincare things that I use I won't necessarily call it like a skincare routine because I don't use it all the time but when I do use facial products these are the things that I use and I will insert another clip of the items at the end of this video um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it I wanted to make this video because I always get a lot of compliments on my skin and like I said I don't usually do anything to it but when I do there are certain products that I like to use and also um, I drink like a lot of water I didn't use to I used to still drink water but not a lot but my goal for 2019 was to increase my water intake and I'm trying to get up to a gallon a day um I'm able to do it sometimes like in the smaller to-go cups but never like a gallon like in the jug but I'm trying to get to that point but yeah like I said there's nothing special that I do I just wanted to show you guys the products that I use when I use them because people always ask me so yeah and my skin feels great it feels refreshed it feels hydrated and i know that in the morning my skin is going to look amazing but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please make sure that you turn on your post notifications so that you're notified every time i upload also make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out